again so welcome today we are live from our backyard garden and we're gonna talk more about businesses regarding gardens if it's your first time here welcome my name is Mwaka Doyafrenio thank you so much for stopping by on this channel we're all about entrepreneurship productivity as well as social media growth meaning if you join this channel we're gonna help you we're gonna motivate you we're gonna inspire you we're gonna encourage you to start your own small business doesn't matter whether you have a full-time job a part-time job we are all here for it the goal is to have some extra cash mm. it's winter down here so I'm just trying to have some coffee to keep myself warm so this is a business idea that I have for people that live in rural areas we are not leaving you out so I thought let me sit down here and discuss with you or talk to you guys about one business idea that I've been thinking of, something that I would think I would want to do some other day. A business idea that I have for you guys in rural area is starting, you know, if you've watched my vlog, I was, the, the last vlog that I shared with you is when I was um, maintaining the garden, um, taking care of it. And then I mentioned something like, if you are in a small, in a bigger place, or if you're in a small town where um, the land isn't the problem, you can do this times five. So meaning, you do not even need to. And the good thing about gardening is, it's gardening. They call it um, uh, horticulture. So the whole idea is what I love about this is most of these things I didn't have to buy the seeds. You don't need to buy seeds. So this is a business that you can start with zero dollars. So all you need to do is to go to your neighbor's house, get a piece of mint like this, put it in water, put it in soil, it will start growing. You are done. Um, the chili that you eat in your kitchen from your kitchen just take the seeds put it in the soil um i mean everything almost everything here i not even almost everything literally i never bought seeds so all you have to do is just look around for seeds um, leftovers from your kitchen you cut your onion in half you put it in sand uh, you put it in soil it starts growing so it isn't really as a big problem here's a potato here's garlic all these things i never knew that i can have them but because before i was lazy but this year i've decided i'm you know what i'm gonna go all out i'm gonna be you know let me start doing something that i love let me start doing something that gives me you know hope for life you know this is just take care of something so that's why i came up with all these things that i'm growing here so in today's video, generally, I'm going to talk about those who are now in rural areas. Guys, in rural areas, there is so much that you can do with your spare time. We must comp stop complaining about not having jobs. You can create your own job. My kids get cold. So basically what you can do, you can go in a village, the next village, or in your village, your grandmother, your father, your whoever might have, you know, um, chickens. So what you basically do, you can just buy a chicken, a female, <laughs> a hen, and a roster. You have those two, you can decide to wire them to keep them in a small um, fence if you wish, or you can let them roam around. But of course, there are advantage and disadvantage to all that, because if you have to put them in a... <laughs> If you have to let them you no know, free range, like walk all over the village, anybody can eat your eggs. But now, for now to start, let's put them in a small cage where you can, you know, determine and see, uh, monitor your eggs. So once your eggs hatch, then from two chicken, you have maybe eight now. And the process goes on and on. While you have your chicken growing, uh, business growing on, you might have a small business like this. And in the, at this time, if you're still continuing putting your chicken in a wire, in a fence, you can always go and clean out. When you are cleaning out the chicken pool, you bring your chicken pool to your garden. And this um, gives manure to your garden. And then from there, um, as time goes by, you continue now sell, you are selling vegetables. 
you're selling um, uh, chicken, uh, you can sell chickens, you can sell chicks when they hatch to the next person, they can also start the same business. You can sell eggs, you know. So now you are selling vegetables from your garden, you're selling the chicken itself, you can kill these chickens or sell them live, and you can sell the eggs, you can sell the chicks. So you have four things that you are selling in this small this space of time. As time goes by, you can go ahead with whatever that you're getting, the little that you're getting from these four aspects that I've mentioned. You go ahead now, you buy goats. Goats for me are the easiest um, type of farming, uh, animal farming that you can start with because um, they are mostly resistant to diseases. It's not like every disease that can just come and take them off. Um, also, you don't really need to take care of them like uh, cattle, how you do it. You have to take them to go and drink water and whatever. But as for gods, you just have to teach them the way. This is the way from the from your village, the way they're supposed to go and get water and back. And also, the third thing that I love about gods is the fact that they eat almost anything. It doesn't matter whether it's bitter, whether it has thorns, they eat everything. And then from there, it's just maybe a block of salt that you might buy for them, then you put it there as the lake. And the gods that I'm talking about, Excuse me. The gods that I'm talking about is just you have to start with two gods, of course, a male and a female. And why I'm choosing gods is the fact that with gods, you know, you can never go wrong. I think gods give birth twice in a year. If I'm not wrong, you can correct me in the comment section. So, you guys, as I was saying, I got interrupted there. I'm done with my call. So, right, as I was saying about gods, so we know gods um, give birth at least twice a year. Uh, and if that is not true, please correct me in the comment section. So because of that, and there's a very, very high possibility that um, they always carry twins. So if your first set, if the first set comes, that means that you have four gods. And then as they grow, the mother also can have uh, the second set. So that is literally like two, four, and the parents, that's six. The following year, and the following year, if you're lucky, if there are girls somewhere along these babies that just came, you know it's going to be the same. So because they reproduce so fast and, you know, always in most cases, it's only it's mostly twins, you can also decide to start selling um, carcass. So you kill your goat, you sell it. You know, we know now, you know, um, brying is the latest trend. Brying is everything in Namibia. Every corner of Namibia, we do bry it on. So... Either you sell the carcass yourself or you sell it to the next person or you now start, you take it to where maybe there's an event, to a bar next to your village, to a bar in your village or anywhere else where people make entertainment. It could be at the sports field, maybe there's an event. You take your carcass there, you buy it, you sell it. Now you have made money from the carcass when you sell it or you've made money when you yourself buy the meat. With all that going, you know, because everything is almost seasonal, this garden could be seasonal. When there's no garden, you are now having chicken. When there's no chicken, but I think for chicken it's not even seasonal. I'm not sure. But I think for me chicken, I remember um, when I was a kid, I had a good head for chickens. So I, I had chickens almost throughout the year. I don't think there's a season for chicken. So try out this business um, model that I've just set out for you. Start with the, the vegetable garden and the chicken garden at the same time. Yeah, you know, the chickens also do eat these things. So if you have rotten tomatoes, if you have rotten stuff, you can always throw it in the chicken wire. And then you, when you go and clean out for chickens, um, they, you get the chicken pool, you put it in your garden. I know chickens also can be difficult, especially in rainy season because they easily catch, um, what is this? Uh, the flu, the chicken flu, and other funny diseases. So you need to either need maintenance also, it needs attention. Chicken um, farming needs attention. And you have to be careful what you feed them so that they can you know, produce nice eggs so that they can have a lot of, produce more eggs. 
So I know it might require you to have uh, to put more effort. It's not something that is just easily come, easily done, easily go, you know, easily cash. So it require you to have um, strength. It require you to give them attention. So you go and clean that chicken pool. You put it in here. Um, whatever is rotten from here, you throw it. Like, so you are feeding them, and then. There you go, you have your money, you can always collect your cash every single day throughout the year. Like I mentioned, when there's a lot of, um, when you feed them correct, when you feed them right, the, um, the chicken, when you feed the chicken right and correct, they'll produce more eggs and they'll, they will be stronger. So you'll be able to sell eggs, you'll be able to sell um, chicken. And the idea of selling mostly is to just, if you have a smaller, um, lanes where you are doing all these things and you don't want it to over be overcrowded that's why now you control uh, the chicken by selling it and with this the good thing about this you're selling to your locals and also supermarkets nearby supermarkets will rather opt to come and buy from you you know because it will be cheaper transport wise instead of them you know if it's shop right to wait from Windhoek to Katima that distance from window to Katima, it's a long distance for them to pay for all that. So they rather just buy from you, Nate Zo. So guys, I'm here to age you, start this small business. Some of us are just limited by space. Some of us are just limited by length. But if you have the opportunity, if you have length and you are watching this video, please, 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 do not let me down. Make me live this dream <laughs> through you. Um, Start with anything. Start with anything, guys. Rotten potatoes. Um, obviously, a potato cannot be rotten the entire thing. Some part of it might be rotten, but there might be some sprout. That's the part you want to cut and put in the soil to grow. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have started, if this business model makes sense to you. Also, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Let me know where you are watching us from. I hope this video helps you to model. I hope this video helps you and motivate you to start your own small business. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.